Hey everybody. Hey this everybody. Is Krista. Say I do forever. Helping you say I do forever. And it's Saturday morning. Happy Saturday morning. Yep. We are taking our coffee with Jay and Krista. That's right, right here. On a road trip. Yep. Right now we are driving to Buell, Idaho, just a couple towns over from us. And going to find one of our favorite places uh, that we like to hang out and yep. we'll have our coffee there. So right now we're just kind of coming into town. I may try to switch this here in a second. Let me see if I can switch it. See where we are. This there you is go. the town of Buell that we're coming into. And don't you turn up here pretty quick? Yep. Buell is a little farm town. Just west of us. Yep, and it, um, I don't even know what the population is or anything like that. 4,122. <laughs> oh, right there, 4,122 people in Buell. Cute little farm town. It has one of our favorite ice cream places. Um, it has a McDonald's. Clover. Um, it had a McDonald's. It does. Everybody has McDonald's. <laughs> well, they didn't used to. Yeah. They do now. There's the Buell silage dairy, or what are those things called? Silage? I don't know which one you're looking oh, for. Oh, grain silages. Grain silos. Silo. Thank you. Yeah. See, I don't ever know some of these words. Oh, that's okay. I'm a city girl. We cut off a little bit because this road is long, but kind of go through some country roads and some dairies out here. We're headed north, I believe. Yep. And uh, I won't make you watch the entire road, so we'll cut it off here again, and we'll see you in a minute. Got a little farther down this road and it's getting really pretty. This is where you start to come over the ridge and look down into the canyon and all the pretty Russian olive trees. Actually, those ones aren't Russian olives. I think those are poplars. There's a Russian olive. It is September, so it's at the end of the summer, so things are a little bit dry. It's been a long, hot summer. In the spring, this is so green. We'll have to take you on it. What's your favorite part of down here? Um, I would have to say the river. The river down mm -hmm. here, Snake, ri Snake River. That's Snake River, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. The Snake River, everywhere you go, it's a little different. Um, down by us, there's a huge bridge and a giant canyon. Down here, you can get right down on the river because we're down in the canyon. Yeah, we'll have to go by. Um, where this road goes over the river at the end of the video before we sign off uh, and show them the, the raging waters um, by that part of the river. Yeah, that would be cool. The part where we're going is a very calm and relaxing part. It's very shalom. Yes. Very peaceful. Let me switch it around so you can see us. Happy Saturday, everyone. What are you doing for your Saturday? Hopefully chilling out. Yeah. The weather is beautiful and I can't wait till the trees start to turn. Maybe on some of our Saturday morning coffee with Jay and Krista, maybe we will try to find you some spots. Ooh, I'm gonna turn you around because this is pretty. This is where it starts to get really pretty down in the canyon. But maybe we will try to go to different places that maybe the the trees are turning. Oh, and this is where we turn. Yep. Yay! 
so pretty. Magic Valley Steelhead Hatchery this way. And there's like waterfalls off the canyons. I don't know that you can see it all the way over there. And this is kind of like this little road that runs along the Snake River and down into the canyon and gets kind of deeper and deeper into the canyon. And then there's some really pretty waterfalls off to the side. But we have to go quite a ways down this, so I might just shut it off and start again here in just a minute. Okay, here we get to see some of the river right through here. So pretty. There's Jay. He's pretty. Hey. He's pretty too. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you can see the waterfall over there. Sorry about shaking the camera. It's the car. It's not me. It's the car. It's definitely the car. <laughs> So, um, for a while there, we owned a little paddle boat and we would take the kids out here and do like a little paddling. We do have um, kayaks, but I don't know, I'm really careful of where I go. <laughs> I don't want anything white water rafting. <laughs> Also a lot of orchards down in here because um, the temperature is warmer down here in the canyon and they can actually um, keep fruit a little longer oh, and there's some school buses down here are so lucky. Yeah, it's beautiful down here. So beautiful. For sure. Okay, we're still in the car. Because our spot disappeared. Yes, we're going to keep looking for it, but we think there's a new house kind of in the area that it is. We think somebody bought the land. And built a house. And built a house. Where the boat dock used to be. And it wasn't really an official dock. It was kind of like a sandy yeah, area that we just... could launch out and kind of have, sometimes they had like uh, fire pits there. Maybe they didn't, didn't want all the people partying there yeah, or something. But it was really cool. It's a bummer. You know, times change, things change. So anyway. It was just a few years ago that we used to go all the time. I know. We would launch our little paddle boat. But I think now somebody bought it, and because maybe they enjoyed that land so much, and now they it. bought it up. They put a stupid house there. Yeah. But that's okay, because we're still on a road trip. That's right. We've got our coffee. Do you have your coffee? I do. I have my Hallmark coffee. So here's to road trips. Here's to our friends in YouTube land. <laughs> here's to what? Life. Life, it moves on without you, That's whether right. you're ready or not. That's right. I know. Okay, there we go. I feel like I was being all movie stars. Hey, you are a movie. You're my movie star. <laughs> but where's our next stop now? What were we going to go do? Well, um, we're going to go see what we're going to go get. Well, first, I was going to ask our, our, uh, the people out in YouTube land, our dear, yeah. dear friends, I was going to ask them where their favorite places are or mm. where some of the places that they maybe have uh, loved and treasured. And then, you know, time marches on and things change and things change. Like the drive-in theater isn't there anymore. Like what else? I mean, things just move on and it's sad when you have memories there with your children. Yep. And then you, um, and then you don't get to see them again. It's kind of but just how it is. We're going to go back through it. Uh, one of our favorite spots or one of our favorite things is 
there's uh, fruit orchards down here. Yeah. The other thing we noticed when we went by the uh, fruit stand that we always used to stop at is now also a private home. And, and they, no longer a fruit and stand. And they have a big sign that says, it's posted, don't even ask. And I'm like, seriously? And that's... They even got rid of the... That's them being sweet about it, isn't it? <laughs> don't even ask. Don't even ask. <laughs> so we didn't ask, but we're going to go across the street to the other fruit so, stand. But and... the good part is, is that there's a newer fruit stand that we have visited before. Right. And, and they are open. They are open. So we thought maybe we would um, visit that. We're also going to keep our keep going and keep trying to find that other spot, which it, we don't think is there. I don't think it's there. I think it's that where that house was. Happy Saturday! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll uh, get back with you guys here in just a second. Yep. Uh, let's turn it around so they can see. Can they see where we're, we're kind of in this turn off little thing? Yep. And we're in a little parking lot. <laughs> parking lot. And there, even Idaho Steel Fitch Hatchery has a sign that says no public visitors. It's over back behind that bush where you can't see it. But that's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, they wouldn't even let us visit there. So we'll see you here in a minute. Okay, here's the fruit stand that we're going to come to. And just because it's kind of private property, we're not going to bring the camera in there. Cool. I'll probably just go buy some fruit. Yep. Maybe if you could just pull it forward. Yep. I don't want to run over little children either. Yep. So, let's go visit the fruit stand. Okay. Okay, we'll be right back. We're going to grab some fruit.
There you go. We got them. Such goodies. I got peaches and apples and honey. Yay. <laughs> Loaded up. We have the honey from Camas Prairie, which is up in Fairfield. Idaho, which is really another awesome place that we probably should go have Saturday morning coffee with you guys. Woo. I'm gonna lose my peaches. <laughs> show you the peaches and then put them in on the ground. It's not pretty. Woo! There's a good shot of Snake River too. Oh, let me turn it around. There you There's go. There's Snake River. Thank you for coming. This was Kelly's Orchard down in the Buell. canyon. Yep, in Buell. Yep. And let me show you some more too really quick. Oh, no. Yeah. Whole container of apples. And this was the honey, Camas Prairie honey which is from Fairfield, Fairfield yeah. Idaho. That's what I said earlier, but yes. I know you're super excited. But I wanted to show them oh, at the same time them. we just talked. Show them. But now I don't know where to put all this and my coffee. Oh, isn't it awesome? And <laughs> I'm a big mess. <laughs> so anyway, we're still looking um, some more at where this other place could be. And I'm gonna turn you around. So somewhere along here was our beautiful little spot. The launch pad for going over to that little island in the middle of the Snake River. But yep. I don't know what happened to it. Yep. I don't see it anywhere. And I think where that little turnoff is is now a house. And I'm gonna show you when you see a red kind of barn to coming up. Actually, is this the red? Okay, so this used to be, this red little barn thing used, used to be to an orchard, orchard and they not would anymore. sell like roadside stand and now it says posted, please, please do not ask. ask. In other words, they don't want you anywhere around because everybody's used to going there for it being an orchard. Yep. And obviously the new owners are probably not thrilled with everybody stopping by thinking it's still an orchard for sale <laughs> or for where you could buy things. These are all orchard trees because all through here, the here it is, this is exactly where we used to be. This is a brand new house and this is in the exact spot where we used to go down to the river. That is it. That is it for sure. Well, times change. Times change. People change. That's it. So, what do you think? I'm thinking that was a bummer that we didn't get to go down <laughs> by the river and have a chat, but on the flip side, we got to go to the orchard and you got to show them some of the river, so that's good. Exactly. So, should we sign off? Or do you want to show them something else? No, we can sign off. Till next time, this is Jane Krista helping you say I do forever. See have you guys. a great Saturday, guys.